Welcome to Tournament Manager tutorial video. In this video I will teach you how to use tournaments features. To invite Tournament Manager you can open Google and type Tournament Manager Discord Bot. Click on the first link from the result and it will bring you to the Tournament Manager Bot page on top.gg website. Click on the Invite button. Select your server. For this tutorial I will use my demo server. Click continue and authorize the bot. Once the bot is in your server, you can start the initial setup to use the tournament features. To set up the tournament, type setup, and press enter or click send button for mobile user. Type yes, and press enter. If this is your first time running a setup command, the bot will ask for your Gmail account, and press enter. At this point the bot will create your Google spreadsheet, and once it's done the bot will share the link with you by email. The spreadsheet is your tournament database and it will be used by the bot to save all your registration info, score, and for you to change the tournament settings. Once it's done, the bot will ask you confirmation to create all channels and roles that the bot will use for the registration system. Type yes, and press enter. The initial setup process is done. By default the bot will create text channel with name, registration, registration logs, and group a chat. The registration channel will be used for user to register. The registration log will be used for tournament organizer to log the registration or to run the registration commands. The group of chat will be used for all registered team to communicate. Next the bot also created role with name, group A, and group A in. The group A role will be given when user registration got accepted. The group A in role will be used for check-in system. You can customize all of this later from your settings sheet. To register it's pretty simple. Any user that have access to the registration channel can run register command to register. Type register and press enter. Type yes and press enter. The registration is done. The user will receive notification and access to the group of chat. The bot also print the registration info to your group sheet. To see who has registered on your tournament from your Discord server, you can use group command. When user try to register and the bot cannot find the user team information, the bot will ask the user to create the team information first. To create team information, type update team, and press enter and follow the steps. Once it is completed, the user now can run register command to register. By default the registration system is set to self-registration mode on. It means every time user register, the bot will automatically accept the registration for you. This method is good for casual tournament or for scrim. To set the registration to advanced mode, turn off the self-registration mode. Now, the bot will not automatically accept the registration. To process the registration, go to registration logs channel, and any user with tournament organizer role can accept new registration. To accept the registration, type accept, group ID, slot number, and then mention the team manager, and press enter. The bot will notify the team manager and registration channel, give the group role, and print the team information to the sheet as well. To reject the registration, go to registration logs channel, type reject. Mention the team manager, and give the reason, 
and press enter, the bot will notify the team manager and give the reason why their registration got rejected on direct message. To cancel the registration, go to Registration Logs channel, type Cancel, Group ID, Slot Number, mention the Team Manager, give the reason, and press Enter. When the bot asks for the confirmation, type Yes, and press Enter. The bot will remove their team from the group sheet, remove the group role, and notify the Team Manager and give the reason why their registration got cancelled on direct message. You can close any channel using the close command, and only user with tournament organizer can write in the channel. This will work to close the registration channel. It's because the registration command only works on registration channel, so when you close the registration channel, it will close the registration as well. To reopen the registration, use open command and the channel will be open again.